guys welcome to my ranking of the, the superhero movies of 2016 from worst one all the way up to the best one and excuse me let me go get some real quick so there I got what I got and I got my tab, my can my Amazon fire so I can show you the list of movies so remember this is my opinion not yours sorry about that remember this is my opinion I will read each one off and another thing I'm going to point out this time just because there is a certain movie and number one on this list doesn't mean I hate it alright so let's get started we got Doctor Strange. Now, Marvel, you came off of 13 great movies. This one was good. It, it was great, but it's not the best movie in the MCU. It's definitely not the best. There are so many, there are better choices to me, like Civil War, Age of Ultron, um, The First Avengers, The Winter Soldier, Civil War, Iron Man. Iron Man 2, even Iron Man 3. Yeah. But this movie is is good. It's good. It's it's a great film. It's it's a great film. Ben the Cumberbatch, great acting. He should at least get the Oscar for the, for 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 a performance like this. But I don't that's the only Oscar this movie should get. And I say the only because there are many other movies that deserve superhero movies that should be getting this kind of award. <laughs> Not bashing you, Marvel. You just don't need Academy Awards that badly. <laughs> but anyways, I do like the acting. Rachel McAdams, Tilda Swinton, Chibadel EGF4. All the acting is great. Mind-blowing effects. And just, just a good movie. Doctor Strange... The only sort of problem is that it takes a little long for the movie to get going. It's it's an hour and 55 minutes long, and so for, for the first 40 minutes, I was ready to hate it. But surprisingly, this movie was, was a good film. And then number six, we got Batman, The Killing Joke. So severely underrated. And yes, Boobob 1987, I will say it. Don't forget the oh heck no moment in this movie was Batman and Batgirl, they actually kiss. I'm not crapping, I'm not bull crapping. Don't forget to eat a Kit Kat bar for that. <laughs> but yeah, this movie is good. Batman Killing Joke is enjoyable, it's a cool film. It's, so, it's it's a solid movie. It's a very solid, fun film. It's it's a very good film. It is very faithful. I know some people don't like the movie. They don't like the prologue. They don't like... It's a freaking movie, okay? Shut up, guys. Shut up. But anyways, the movie it does... The movie is faithful to the book in some parts. But it also changes some stuff or messes with some stuff if you will. But I still thought this was a good film. Very awesome movie and I had a blast with Batman the Killing Joke. Five. Oh, we're at number five? Oh yeah, we're at number five. Deadpool. Now Here's a little strange story for you guys. When I first watched this movie, I found this movie to be the most overrated film in the X-Men series. And I just was not into this movie the first time I watched it. But then after a couple more times, and a couple more times, I eventually let the movie sink into me a little more. And I appreciated it. I, yeah, I appreciate the heck out of this movie. So yeah, this was some. This was something. 
I thought we would not get, but this was a good film, and it, and it redeemed Deadpool. It redeemed Deadpool very well, and it treated, it gave Deadpool the proper respect he deserved. And Deadpool was funny, he's awesome, and this movie was the, one of the most highest grossing R-rated movies since Passion of the Christ and The Matrix Reloaded. And all the other R rated movies that's got highest grossing. But, yeah, this is just one of the best comic book movies I've seen. Ryan Reynolds bought his A game, stole the freaking show, and, and knocked X Men Origins Wolverine out of the freaking park because that movie sucked. Yeah. Congratulations, Deadpool. You deserve an award for that. I'm looking forward to Deadpool 2. Hopefully, it's not terrible or anything. Suicide Squad. Now, yeah, Suicide Squad, I will admit that there were issues I had with the movie. I kind of wish Joker was had more, but more screen time, but it didn't take away off the stuff I had. And, um, it's that yeah, I did love the acting, Margot Robbie, Carl Delevingne, they both stole the show, Karen Fukuhawa, Will Smith, Jared Leto, want to see more of him, and and I want to see what other stuff that they cut out in this new syndicate that's going to be 11 minutes long. And that is, that is cool. That where we're getting a syndicate. I I know some people are not happy with the how much is going to be only in the film, but it's a director's cut. It does not need to be like BVS's ultimate cut. Well, it could, but it doesn't. But Suicide Squad is a cool movie. I have a lot of fun, and it is a great film. So. So, yeah, Suicide Squad, good movie, worth checking out. Number three, <laughs> Captain America Civil War. Now, look, I enjoy Captain America Civil War, I really do. It's a great, it's a, it's a great movie, it was the best way to end the Captain America movie series it was a great way to, that was a great way to go out with this freaking series it was awesome spider-man i still can't go over the fact that spider-man's in the mcu and i can't wait for spider-man homecoming which is going to be great tom holland brought the a-game i thought toby mcguire is and tom holland are my two favorites Andrew Garfield, you tried, but your movies were just ruined by the studio, okay? They were ruined by the studio. Studio interference. If they didn't ruin it, your movies would have been fine. But, I did like Andrew Garfield's performance, but Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire are the two best Spider-Mans for me. Elizabeth Olsen, The Scarlet Witch. Take a minute to get that into your head. Because I liked her. The action, the airport scene was great, and the plot twist at the end, I didn't, well, I didn't, I hated it the first couple of times, but now I'm starting to slowly get over it, but I'm still 50-50 on it. I like it, and I don't like it, so, yeah, that's the plus, but Civil War is still a great movie, definitely a good way, not a bad way to kick Number two, X-Men Apocalypse. Yes, X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, we have another underrated X-Men movie besides X-Men The Last Stand. Why, critics? You knew this was not going to live up to Days Future Past, but this movie should have gotten a higher score. A higher score. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. But... 
all of you have seen X Men Apocalypse was fantastic. Jennifer Lawrence. Um, who else? Jennifer Lawrence, Olivia Munn, and Psylocke. She killed it. She was hot. Um, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Sophie Turner from Game of Thrones. Y yes, Sophie Turner was amazing in here. As Jean and Gory, I love the scene when she, when Xavier tells her to let go of her powers, and she and she does that. It was she just lets go and she starts screaming that. I don't blame anybody for having some kind of reaction to that. And just the action in here, Oscar Isaac is as Apocalypse great. Great, great, just great action, great music, great effects. Brian Singer once again brought his freaking A game. That is always a plus. And Brian Singer knew how to handle this fan, the, this movie. I hope the next one is just more awesome. I can't wait. I won't. Yep, you knew this was gonna be be my number one, no matter what. So get ready because I'm about to say it right now. Batman v Superman: Dawn Justice, not the ultimate cut, not the theatrical cut, just the movie in general. Batman v Superman: Dawn Justice was a great, was a great, but also very underappreciated movie in this cinematic universe. This is so underappreciated. Even with the Ultimate Cut, there are some people who like the Ultimate Cut, but the majority of us love the Ultimate Cut. And this movie is a cult classic. It deserved to be a cult classic. This movie was great. You got great shots out of the Dark, out of the Dark Knight Returns with Batman in the final fight with Doomsday. The story makes more sense with the Ultimate Cut. Superman, Henry Cavill is great. Ben Affleck is great. Not my favorite Batman, though. That still goes to Christian Bale. You hear me? All you Christian Bale haters out there? That Yeah, that's right. Um, Gal Gadot is a Wonder Woman. Freaking out. Freaking A. I can't wait for her solo movie. And her trailer, the newest trailer for her solo movie was awesome. Seeing the death of Superman at the end of this movie, that was heartbreaking, but he's doing it because he's willing to die for a planet that hates him. That takes heart, dedication. And that takes that takes pressure. That takes it takes Zack Snyder to absolutely do that kind of crap. And so Zack Snyder did that. That is just awesome. And just just awesome. BVS, check it out. It is so underrated. So that was my list of the work, the superhero movies from worst one to best one. Hope you're not too angry. Let me know what you think about it down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What rank your the superhero movies in order from worst one to best one? Which one you say? Oh, and I will be reviewing Batman Bat Bad Blood sometime this week. So stay tuned for it. I'll see you guys and enjoy the show. Joshua Drake. Future Film Make 3940 is out.